This week on Gadget, it's time to geek your ride with the Scan Gauge 2. Damn right. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net, where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits. That's a religious order of the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in San Jose, California. Now, I want to start off by apologizing for the dearth of videos over the last three weeks. You see, it's been a busy time for the Gadget and the Tech Stop crews. I just received word that I am being reassigned from Most Holy Trinity Parish here in San Jose, California to Holy Spirit Parish in Honolulu, Hawaii. That's right. The tech stop is pulling up stakes and moving over to the sunny islands in order to set up at the Newman Center at the University of Hawaii. Now, we're going to try to get a couple of videos out to you as quickly as possible, but if we have another blackout for a few weeks, please forgive us while we try to set up our new studio at the University of Hawaii. But let's get on to the tech. If you've had a chance to ride or to drive one of Toyota's Prius hybrid vehicles, you know that one of the coolest parts about the experience is the little LCD that's in the center dash. You see, it, it gives you all the information that an Uber geek would want to have about the car. Everything from fuel consumption to battery drain to recharge rate. There's navigation. There's little bits of data about how the car is handling. It's, it's a fantastic piece of technology, especially for an Uber geek who'd like to know things about the car and the engine that maybe most people don't want to know or don't need to know. Well, if you wanted that kind of data, that kind of information at your fingertips, you either had to buy a Prius or one of the more expensive luxury cars like a, a Lexus or a Mercedes that had the onboard computer with a little screen so you can get some instant feedback. That was until Linear Logic came up with this. This is the Scan Gauge 2. As you can see, it's just a little module, and it comes with a cable that plugs into the ODB2 connector in your car. The wonderful thing about this is it's incredibly easy to install. This simply plugs into that port where mechanics or uh, engineers on the, would be plugging in their interface cables, and then this other side drops into the scan gauge itself. Now, a nice little design feature of the scan gauge is that they've put ports on two sides here to allow you to plug it in either side mount or for those people who are going to mount this directly and permanently on their console, rear mount. Now, this little unit may seem small, but it actually can provide an incredible amount of data. It's really three tools in one. The first tool is sort of a trip gauge. It gives you everything from fuel consumption, to how many miles you've driven, to how long you've been driving. But it can also do gauges, which will give you the more technical information, things like engine RPM and throttle position, so you know how much of, how what percentage of the engine power you're using, uh, to, you know, close points, loop, a bunch of stuff that I don't even understand, but it's nice to be able to bring it up here. The final mode is a diagnostic tool. That's right, this can plug into the ODB2 connector, and tell you what errors the computer is coming up with. If you have ever had that check engine light, this will allow you to plug it in, get a diagnostic code, know exactly what's going on, and then clear the check engine light. No more expensive trips to your mechanic just to turn off a little annoying light on the dash. Now, we've got a little video here that's going to show you exactly how easy it is to install one of these things and how fun it is to use. This is the complete setup kit for the ScanGauge 2. There are no special tools, no complicated harnesses, simply the module and the interface cable. The first step for installation is to find the OBD2 port. Typically, this is located under the dashboard on the driver's side of the vehicle. While some manufacturers place the port near the door, on this Honda Odyssey, the port can be found next to the center console. In all cases, the port should never be more than four feet from the steering wheel, and there is only one, meaning that you can't plug it into the wrong connector. The plug is a D connector, meaning that it is impossible to plug in the interface cable upside down. 
You simply line up the connector with the port and push it into place. That's it. No screws, no fasteners, no tape. The fit of the connector will keep it secure in the OBD2 port. With one side of the interface cable plugged into the port, you need only insert the RJ45 connector on the other side of the cable into one of two slots on the scan gauge to itself. Once the cable is connected, the unit will automatically power on and wait for data from the vehicle's onboard computer. When the engine is turned on, the gauge mode can immediately display four of any of the incoming data streams, selectable by the buttons next to the screen. The scan gauge 2 is also extremely flexible, allowing users to change everything from screen intensity to contrast. Users can also choose any of seven preset backlight colors or use 63 different user adjustable shades. On the setup side, users have complete control of fuel, tank size, engine displacement, and any of a dozen other parameters that can more closely match the unit with the vehicle. So a few final thoughts about the Scan Gauge 2 from Linear Logic. This is an incredibly useful device, but not only that, it's just a lot of fun. There is something to be said about watching the details, the data from your car flow into a little screen that you can easily read. Now, one of the coolest things about this device is if you have a compact or even a mid-sized car, it's possible to get close to a hybrid efficiency level just by watching how you drive. No drag rabbit starts, watching how you coast, going really easy on the brake. The scan gauge makes it easy for you to be able to sort of self-moderate. And, and that's actually one of the advantages of a hybrid, that that little screen gives you immediate feedback on what you're doing to your fuel economy. But not only that, it's nice just to have a tool that will let you do everything from check out the RPM to uh, look at the loop status on your vehicle to the engine temperature, and when you need to, to diagnose codes. If you are a hobbyist and you like just playing around with your car, this has the added advantage of being able to store programs inside the memory of the scan gauge 2 and load it up to your automotive computer, although that's not for amateurs. You definitely want to know what you're doing. Now, these units run for about $170 each, which isn't cheap, but it's not incredibly expensive either, especially when you consider that gauges that would independently give you the information for this could run you into the grand. Not only that, but these cables, these ODB, OBD2 uh, to RJ45 connector cables, can be bought for about $20 a piece, which means that you can plug one of these into each of your vehicles, run the cable behind the dash, and then just move your scan gauge from vehicle to vehicle as you uh, change cars. Now, that's worth it uh, just to have it for the geek factor alone. Now, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to learn more about the scan gauge or find out where you can buy it, you can go to www.thetechstop.net, click on the Gadget tab, and read the full article. If you'd like to send us an email message, and many of you have, so thank you very much, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Now, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been Gadget, and I just want to remind you that there's no Uber geek without you. Take care.